Highlands Ranch or Littleton. They are both on the southwest side of town, so how do you know which one is going to be better for you? Hey everybody, it's Allison Wall with Live South Denver, your real estate strategist and realtor for the South Denver area. The lines between Highlands Ranch and Littleton kind of blur together on the map, but the feel between the two areas is pretty different. Highlands Ranch is a metro district. As you've heard me say before, it's just essentially one big HOA. There is a fully loaded rec center at each of the four corners of Highlands Ranch, and the district maintains over 2,500 acres of open space, nearly 70 miles of trails and more than 25 parks. Every space the community sees stays manicured and regularly maintained. Littleton is a town and a postal district. What I mean by that is if you live in Littleton, you live in either the incorporated part of Littleton proper or the unincorporated area all around Littleton proper. Littleton covers a lot of ground and even dips in and among Highlands Ranch. In Littleton, there are 100 year old homes and there are new construction homes being built right now as we speak. Highlands Ranch, on the other hand, is celebrating their 40th birthday in 2021 and new construction inside its borders has stopped. There's just no more room. The size of Highlands Ranch, the amenities in Highlands Ranch, the fact that there's no more new construction in Highlands Ranch really keeps home prices hot here. All right, so what about the terrain and the scenery between Highlands Ranch and Littleton? Because just about everyone who moves to Colorado wants to have a mountain view. I mean, why wouldn't you if you're gonna move here? Highlands Ranch sits a little more east of most of Littleton, and by being east, you tend to get a little bit better view of the mountains, particularly those snow-capped Rockies that everybody dreams of having a view of. Highlands Ranch is hilly, so that means means homes that are coming toward the tops of these hills tend to have amazing and sweeping views of the mountains if you're looking west. That also means if you're down the hill, you don't get a view at all. The Highlands Ranch is great about offering open space, so it doesn't mean that every house is back to back and packed in tight. Those hills also make for some great bike rides, absolutely. So after bragging on Highlands Ranch, let me make it clear that Littleton is no slouch in the scenery department. There are homes on lakes and reservoirs all across Littleton. The new construction homes in Littleton are nestled right up against the foothills. I mean, those foothills feel like mountains, you're so close to them. There are established stately homes in Ken Carroll Valley that have lush green meadow that runs between the homes. There are red rock formations in Ken Carroll Valley, gorgeous area to be in. Just know that the farther west you go in Littleton, the larger the foothills loom, which means less opportunity to see the snow-capped mountains. All right, ease of access, drive time, commutes, let's cover that one. For day-to-day -day living, I think for most people, Highlands Ranch would probably get a 10 out of 10. It takes about 15 minutes, maybe 20 with traffic to get from one side of Highlands Ranch to the other. Most people are no more than five minutes away from grocery store, rec center, dry cleaner, a dentist, the workout studio, a coffee shop, restaurants, and more. And Highlands Ranch was designed to be that way. The Highlands Ranch Town Center is more on the west end of Highlands Ranch that has your Target, has several restaurants, the community library is there with the large outdoor park and splash pads. Also the hospital, Shake Shack, Rock Bottom Brewery. Those are all in that part of Highlands Ranch. The east side shopping location, which really does function like an east side town center, has your Whole Foods, TJ Maxx, four corners of retail and restaurants really. So Highlands Ranch, while it names one town center, almost has two. And getting to 470 in Highlands Ranch can take as short as two to three minutes, depending on where you are. And with traffic, if you're on the south end, it can take you a good 10 minutes plus on the worst days to get all the way up to the interstate. Okay, so Littleton is bigger than Highlands Ranch, much bigger than Highlands Ranch. So it's not gonna compete across the board on the convenience scale. Plus, some people want to be off the beaten path and not so close to their neighbors, not so close to the store, and you can do that in Littleton. If you choose to live in the Roxborough area, this is deep south near the Red Rocks, near Arrowhead Golf Course, you are about seven minutes from your closest grocery store, gas station, and a couple of restaurants. If you want more grocery store, retail, and restaurant options, you're a good 15 minutes away, as well as being about 15 minutes from getting to C470. Now, if you live in downtown Littleton, what some people call East Littleton, you've got access to light rail, small shops, some restaurants, everything's very walkable, some great parks, there's lakes in these parks. 
Everything is at your fingertips pretty much in just a couple of minutes. If you're in West Littleton, off the hub of essentially the intersections of Wadsworth and Bowles, that's a major retail center. You have everything you would want, probably within 10 minutes of your house. They have Costco and Sam's, Target, Trader Joe's, lots of options for boutiques, shops, beauty stores, gyms, you name it. And now that there's a toll lane on 470 heading out to the West Littleton area, you can really make your commute time a breeze. One of the big pluses about Littleton is there are a lot more locally owned businesses that aren't chains or franchises than you might find in Highlands Ranch. And there is definitely a culture here in Colorado of support local, buy local. So a lot of people really enjoy that part of being able to find local places in the Littleton area. It's not as easy to do in Highlands Ranch. We always have to remind ourselves that our franchises here are often locally owned by residents who live in the area, but somehow it doesn't always feel the same. So that thought on chains, franchises, and local businesses leads us right into the feel and the vibe of the town. So Highlands Ranch is definitely a more contiguous feel. It feels very much the same from one side to the other, top to bottom. It's a planned community and it shows. Littleton, on the other hand, has lots of different pockets to it. Roxborough, King Carroll, and Deer Creek are all off the beaten path. Old Town is vibrant and eclectic. And the west side of Littleton is pure suburbia, houses, retail, and schools. So what about parks and open space? You would not be at a loss in either community. Littleton has South Platte Park. This is a developed area along the South Platte River that gives some paved biking and walking trails. The open spaces all around the King Carroll area are amazing for hiking, gorgeous views, and the Chatfield Reservoir in Littleton is the spot for water sports. If you were to choose Old Town Littleton, as we mentioned, there are plenty of parks there for getting your run, your walk in, picnics, plenty to do in that area as well with open space. The Highlands Ranch HOA maintains all of those parks, trails, and open space that we mentioned already. In addition, they have skate parks, dog parks, parks with splash pads, community gardens, you name it and they have it. And which one of these two towns would be the golfer's paradise? In Highlands Ranch, you have the Highlands Ranch Golf Club and the Lynx Golf Course. And Littleton is gonna be the hands down winner. They have Littleton Golf and Tennis, Raccoon Creek, Deer Creek, Columbine Golf Course, Fox Hollow, the Arrowhead Golf Course, Ravenna Golf Course, which is a private club, there's a lot for golfers to take in and enjoy in the Littleton area. Littleton takes care of its golfers for sure. What about commute time into downtown? Well, if you lived on the west side of Littleton, your commute could range from 30 to 45 minutes depending on traffic. If you were in East Littleton in that Old Town area, you'd probably shave some time off of that and be around 30 minutes. Commuting into downtown from Highlands Ranch averages about 45 minutes most days. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a taste for the differences and similarities between Littleton and Highlands Ranch. If you'd like to talk about Littleton, Highlands Ranch, any part of South Denver, know that I would love to connect with you. Please feel free to reach out. You can call, you can text, you can email, whatever works for you. Hey, I will see y'all next week.